I'm gonna take the color camera and we're gonna put it right up here. We welcome Burdett Anderson from a company called Photron Cameras to help us with a new experiment at the Triangle. Just hit the green button. He specializes in a high-speed camera system that can shoot thousands of frames per second. Everything's talking correctly. Our eyes basically detect somewhere between 24 and 30 frames per second. The advantage of using a high-speed camera out here is if you have things that are moving that you're just not quite catching, if you're ready for it, you can get a very good look at it. My camera will shoot at 100,000 or a million frames per second. Let's load a rocket. Red one first? Yep. Our plan was to launch rockets up through the triangle where we've seen numerous UAPs and detected what we believe to be some kind of anomaly between 300 and 5,000 feet. OK, it's on? Yeah. While Burdett photographed each launch at 1,000 frames per second with both color and infrared cameras. Here we go. Let's go straight up. Tell me when you're good. That's fine. So we're hoping that Burdett's cameras will help us get a much better look at anything that might appear in the sky during our rocket launches tonight. Be advised we're going to go in one minute. One minute. All right, copy you. Eric, be advised the rocket's hot. We're going hot now. Copy you, Travis. All right, here we go in three, three. two, one. Hey, did you see that? It turned before it could get to wherever the anomaly is. How right. many times have we seen that happen? Yeah. It's going to land right here behind us. Right after the first rocket launched, I noticed that in midair, it suddenly veered a little off course, like it ran into something invisible that deflected it. Now, we've also seen that happen numerous times with other rockets and GPS devices at the Triangle. So I was really eager to immediately launch another rocket to see what would happen next. Five, four, three, two, one. That is cool. Oh, that one was awesome. Well, that went up pretty high. That one may end up in the, in the east field. Hey, we got a light that's right there that's moving. Where? Where? Right, right there, right above us. What? Really? Right there. Where? Yeah, we got it. There it is, right there. No, this was moving pretty fast. What is that? That's now the plane. Eric, we've got an orange light across the river on the uh, southwest side, moving pretty fast about treetop high. Look at that. Still plenty bright. Dang. Eric, do you have any cameras in that direction? Yes, I do, Travis. I will take a look. OK, uh, it looks like it's turning north, doesn't it? It does look like it's turning north. That ain't a satellite, guys. I don't know where it came from, but just after we launched our second rocket at the Triangle area, probably the most prominent UAP I've ever seen appeared over Skinwalker Ranch. Eric, we got something moving right overhead of us right now. It's moving slightly northeast. It's orange, and it doesn't look like a satellite. Do you see it in the cameras? Travis, I don't have it. To ask Eric if he's got anything on the ADSB. Eric, is there anything on the ADSB? It would be going east northeast right now, directly over the ranch. Copy you, I'll check. I've never seen an aircraft maneuver like this thing, but Thomas was right to have Eric check his automatic dependent surveillance broadcasting tracker. It monitors the signals that airplanes and jets are required by law to emit. I've got eyes on the ADSB map. You know, I get aircraft as far out as 130 miles. There's nothing over us. There's nothing near us. It was clearly going due north, and then it dogleg and it sped up. Yeah, it came across, and then it, like, turned. Yeah. It's still going. Look at it. So if that was a satellite, you'd expect it to start fading By out. By now, it'd be fading out. That's no satellite. Did it just, it just vanished. That thing stayed bright and just went away. Well, I don't see any more. Well, I think we ought to get that rocket up and see if we can make it. Yep, I hear you. Replicate it. All right. You Going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, we got a malfunction. Everybody watch out. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's on fire. We got a fire. We got a fire. It's, it's, it's burned out. The motor burned out. 
Holy crap. Hope yeah. you happen to see that. What would what cause that? Heck, what what would cause that? The motor blew up. It, de it deflagrated inside the rocket. I've never seen, uh, I've seen experimental motors do that, Caleb, but I've never seen a store-bought motor deflagrate like that. Yeah. There. Got it. Hey, Travis. Yeah. We caught the malfunction on, on the high speed. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Hey, check this out. There's something on the camera. Something I've never seen before. Check this out. So as it's going, look what you've got. There's something oh, there's in the something sky right above there. the rocket right here. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Look at the light. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> look at that. I see. There is literally something. We may be looking at the anomaly for the first time, guys. Yeah, look at that. Look at the light. All right, now the rocket look gets there. It, 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 it blows and up then the right rocket there. blows up right when it hits oh. it. Oh, yeah. 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 Right here. Look at that. Yeah. Holy crap. All right, Burdett, could you play it one more time? I want to make sure I saw what I think I just saw. After four years of investigating Skinwalker Ranch as a team, we finally got good visual evidence of something incredible at the triangle. Just as we launched a rocket, Burdett Anderson captured some kind of blob-like feature on his high-speed camera that literally appeared out of nowhere and caused the rocket to explode. It was something that none of us could see with the naked eye. That cloud remained intact. The whole thing, this isn't an anomaly in the lens because it didn't move. Could this be the phenomena that causes the energy spikes we've detected? And is it related to the UAPs we've seen? All I know is we may finally be getting closer to possible answers. Think about all the rockets that hit about that same spot and veered off. So as you can see it right there, there's something in the sky. It's already illuminated by the light. Yeah. There's not a cloud in the sky. There's not a cloud not in a the cloud. sky. And so what and is there's it? no dust. And then, it, look, it's almost there. Right there, it's like it hits right on something or zap or whatever. Boom. Boom. And it is exactly oh on the top Oh, my god. Of that. You can't make it up. Oh, yeah. Usually, I can explain everything I've seen in a high-speed camera when I record it. But when we shot the third rocket, as soon as that rocket started illuminating, we saw something that wasn't there in the second shot. I can't explain what it is. I've never seen anything like that come off a Photron camera. Holy crap. Oh, my god. Well, Travis, that's only 30 feet, 30, 40 feet above us. Oh, my god. I couldn't possibly know what this phenomenon was, but we now have a clear location to focus our investigation. OK, we caught something cool. <laughs> right <Yeah! now>! <laughs> <laughs> That's just more validation. My gosh! <laughs>